dear friends in the indian independence movement june 30th 1885 was a remarkable day on the historic occasion more than 10000 farmers and the agriculture laborers who had made a rebellion against the east india east india company and the exploitative system of the british based zamindari system in the Uh, santal pargana under the dynamic leadership of uh, two santal uh, brothers sidhu murmu and uh, kanu murmu the story of the santal rebellion is this on june 30th 1885 before the commencement of the great revolt of uh, indian independence first uh, struggle in 1857 Two Santhal brothers had organized a rebellion with the support of more than 10,000 agricultural laborers against the British regime and army, and with the fierce fight against the Jamindari system, which had forced to be the agricultural laborers from the tillers of the their own lands. In fact, the two Santhal brothers, uh, all along with the ten thousand agricultural labourers, have given an ultimatum to the British army so as to settle the issues within a span of fourteen days' time. Otherwise, uh, there would be a rebellion against the British army. The demands were that they have issued ultimatum to the district collector. and commissioner and through the zamindaris so as to uh, accede to their uh, demands what were the four uh, important demands were that the revenue collection would be done by the santal and would not be done by the zamindari and directly the revenue would be sent to the state government and state the national state and on the other end the complete ban on the money lending and zamindari system in that particular region and the third demand is that the rate of interest on money lending shall be 1 paise for 1 rupee early and not more than that and the flaffing of the lands by buffaloes and cows would be at a fixed rate but for raising this genuine demands in the 19th century more than 50000s of agricultural laborers have been massacred by the british army the mighty military army of the british have fought with the indian farmers and agricultural laborers with this mighty army by that is uh, the farmers had been forced to face the uh, mighty british army by uh, fierce and arrows only even in the matter of harvesting in the uh, matter in the forest they used to poisonous uh, arrows so as to get their uh, harvesting but in the art of uh, war against the uh, british regime the farmers have not used this poisoned uh this arrows this was the uh, moral story of the farmers uh, who fight the british army and um, have been uh, forced to uh, surrender their precious life of uh, more than 15000 but for uh, while the british army trying to arrest the two santhal brothers the point here is that though the agricultural laborers uh, or revolution against the british army had ended in a uh, shoring matter the farmers had been miserably failed but after that the british had been forced to enact a number of uh, reform laws on agriculture sector so as to make santa pargana's tenancy act in the year 1876 against the exploitative addition of the british zamindari system the point here is that this is the story of the farmers who had launched a, a victorious struggle against the british regime in the 19th century now in the 21st century farmers have been fighting for months together in delhi and adjacent areas for months together so
so as to settle their genuine and democratic demands in a peaceful way. This must be settled by the government of India by adhering to the voices of the farmers so as to change the agrarian policy as far as Indian farmers are concerned. This is the message of this video. Thank you so much.